Hi, I welcome you all to Healthy Living with Regina Tete, where it is all about health promotion. In the past weeks, we began something on contraception. And for a while now, we have been talking about the natural ways to prevent pregnancy. And so today, I am going to share with you some of the strengths and weaknesses of these natural ways to prevent pregnancy. Kindly stay tuned. I will be right back. Thank you for staying with me. I welcome you all back. So let's start with the strengths of this method. Okay, so it's actually comfortable for our Christian brothers and sisters who have religious reasons why they won't be able to use the other methods of contraception, like the barrier method, the sterilization method, and the other methods of contraception. Also, for individuals with medical reasons as to why they won't be able to use certain methods of contraception like the combined oral contraceptive pills, individuals with blood clotting disorders or conditions like coronary artery disease. The natural ways to prevent pregnancies are inexpensive. Yes, you do not spend so much on using the natural ways of preventing pregnancy compared to the other methods of contraception. In cases where you need to purchase something, that would be in the case of you using the basal body temperature method. So by that, you need to get a thermometer. And comparing the cost of a simple thermometer to um, the accumulated cost in using the other methods is quite inexpensive compared to the other ones. And so some people like to use this method of contraception. One other benefit of this method of contraception is that there are no side effects, okay? Because you do not introduce an external matter into your body. So you do not experience side effects like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, back pain, and some other side effects, okay? Because it involves you observing the physiology, observing changes in your body and using that to your advantage. Now let's go on to some of the shortcomings of these methods of contraception. These methods of contraception do not protect you against sexually transmitted disease, okay? The only method of contraception that prevents you from contracting sexually transmitted disease is the barrier method of contraception, specifically the use of condoms. So this is the only method that prevents you from contracting sexually transmitted disease from whoever you're having the sexual intercourse with. One of the shortcomings of this method includes its inaccuracy if your cycle is irregular. So let's say for this month, the length of your cycle is... 26 days and the next month 35 days the next month 29 you know if your cycle is irregular it becomes very difficult to trust your cycle to be able to use this method because remember some of the methods of contraception involve the use of your menstrual cycle length the use of the menstrual cycle days so if your cycle is irregular it becomes difficult for you to use this method individuals who are unable to keep track of several previous cycles won't be able to use this remember in using the calendar reading method you should have had records of at least six past cycles so let me say you haven't been keeping track record of the length of your cycles in this past month it means you may not be able to use this method of contraception okay and then also you would have to be trained by a professional a healthcare professional to be able to differentiate the various forms of vaginal secretions for example the use of the ovulation method of contraception Okay, you would have to be able to tell what each of the secretion means. You have to know that, oh, this particular secretion I'm seeing indicates that I am in my fertile period. Or this particular secretion I'm seeing indicates that I am in my non-fertile period, so I can have sex at this moment. So it involves training, and it involves you to be meticulous. Because if you are trained, and you do not really pay heed to the training, you do not really mind and all of that, and you, you just have sex as at the time that you are fertile, you could end up being pregnant so it involves you to be meticulous and disciplined let me quickly say that in the use of any of the natural methods of contraception that we have spoken about previously if you need to have sex and you're not so sure whether you're in your fertile period or non-fertile period it is safe to use it in conjunction with the other methods of contraception for example the barrier method of contraception which we'll be talking about in the coming weeks Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and do all to share so other people could benefit as well. Thank you so much for all you do to promote this channel. I will see you next time. Until then.